day one is officially open. Have a great show. Okay, we're back here at the Parcel Forum 2018. As you know, Saracis is an exhibitor and we're here with our great partner, PeerBridge. We're using their TransStream technology and our all new parcel capability in our transportation management system, the Saracis Raider. And co-founder of PeerBridge, Bob Malley's with us here today. Bob and I have done webinars together. We've been on a podcast. We're essentially internet stars when it comes to the world of freight. Like this. Yeah, buddies. <laughs> <laughs> and he's also, I'm probably uh, one of the shorter guys that you've seen along there with us. So we're brothers so, in arms there. Don't let anybody else come into the picture so get <laughs> contract. Well, I think one of the things that we've really enjoyed and what we've liked in partnering with you all is the technology side of shipping. You know, we have been able to now offer our more traditional LTL shippers the ability to also bring in their parcel shipping from that same multi-carrier aspect that we've offered in the LTL world for 20 years. And so many of our shippers came to us and said, look, Saracis, we love you, but we also ship parcel. We'd love to get the exact same thing. And like any good company, we found some of the best and brightest partners and we found PeerBridge. And you guys were able to develop with us that technology that gives multi-parcel carrier options and we're helping not only those industrial LTL shippers now but we're getting into that world of more that enterprise shipper and you really brought us those solutions from a 3PL standpoint so can you tell me a little bit more about your goal in helping 3PLs kind of come into the world of technology and what that might mean for their customers well I think what we've been finding over the last two years in particular is that 3PLs are being called upon by their clients to handle smaller, more frequent shipments, which means parcels and LTL. So a lot of them really didn't have the expertise to implement those solutions themselves. So at about the same time you were looking for a parcel solution, we were looking for a freight TMS solution, and so we en ended up doing integration both ways. So, uh, so volume, uh, e-commerce is pushing a lot of that, uh, and the 3PLs and now freight forwarders yeah. are, uh, who are becoming 3PLs, moving inland from the port, um, are, there's a demand for what we do together. And so the 3PLs also have another challenge in that they have a customer community that they need to be able to manage and customers don't all have the same requirements. Each customer has a different business process, they have different unique uh, identify, you know, uh, differentiators that they want to build into their process. So um, I think our architecture is well designed to do that, where a 3PL can stand, you know, log on to our solution and manage and configure each customer their, not only their rates, but also their process flows, their integrations separately. So it's a sort of a, we call a federated model, where a federa you know, federal federation implies one standard centralized platform, but each state having, a, having it their own way. At their own independence in a way. We but could it call it the Burger the King. Wall. We could call it the Burger King. <laughs> approach, but yeah, but well, uh, yeah. Well, that's where technology is going, you know, and it's all driven by customer experience and what Amazon has done to this world. But I think what we're also seeing, as we all look to stop being worried about what Amazon's doing so much, I've seen a change in shippers, carriers, 3PLs, 
they're really starting to understand that the user experience in the technology yeah. must, from the B2B side, from the shipper side, must be equal to what they're offering the customers. And so from that community management, that's an interesting piece that I think there's a quest to make the user experience, say, on an e-commerce platform, yeah. really efficient and make the logistics experience. But what you're saying is that a step above that are the, the players involved, and they too want a good experience with their technology. I think that's true, and they're seeing the have it your own way um, experience. Well, Salesforce.com rolled it out, what, 15 years ago. And they're a $50 billion company. Yeah, so, or more. so they're, they're a and worse company. And with their Apple partnership, what, two days ago, they're now a $90 million. There you go. <laughs> so. um, you know, Magento, you know, name, name, the, name the development community that, that uh, you know, is really dedicated to making sure that customers don't have to conform to the system if the system conform to the customer requirement. So you see that all you know all over in sales, and I, I would say the TMS uh, transportation management system industry was probably the last to really you know come up, uh, sort of embrace that paradigm. Yeah. But they certainly have, and, and we were one of the early adopters of that. Well, we're happy to be partnered with you, and I think from my perspective. What I am enjoying seeing is that coming together and that community in the freight world between all the players, shippers, carriers, 3PLs alike, yes. and the technology providers. And it reminds me of what we've always tried to do with our content and how we're trying to create resources and a community by bringing in guests for our podcast or people who write things on our blog. And, and I hope together and I think, and what I'm really feeling, and maybe it's anecdotal, is that we're really starting to mature as an industry and get ourselves really aligned well with what the future holds by applying technology to sound principles and bringing all the players together. Well, Cerasis has certainly been a, a great thought leader and uh, I, I certainly follow your blogs with great interest. You yeah. give me all the ideas that I, you know, I need to run the business. And of course we feature you and we enjoy having you and your partnership means right. everything. So thanks so much, Bob. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate so, it. Here at the Parcel Forum, thanks everybody. Pier Bridge and Saracis, come and see us. Okay, we're back here at Parcel Forum 2018. We're here with our friends Intelligent Audit, especially Hannah. Hannah was a guest on our podcast, the Freight Project Podcast. Shout out to that. Go listen. Hit the info bubble above my head. Number one. That's right. We need her podcast to be number one. But in all seriousness, Intelligent Audit is a great company here at Parcel Forum. But better to hear it from the horse's mouth. Hannah, what is Intelligent Audit and what do you guys do? Sure. So we are a freight audit and analytics company which we, we take all of our customers' data across all their transportation spend, so all their modes, their, their parcel, their LTL, their truckload, ocean air, par courier, anything you can imagine, and we do a complete audit. And then from there, we help them strategically by taking their data and I give them access to it in our business intelligence platform and then helping them ship smarter. So once you understand your data and get visibility to it, you can use that to drive down inefficiencies. Without it, it's a black box, so you have no idea what you're doing good or what you need to improve on. And that's really where we like to hone in on with our customers. Okay. What is one thing that you would tell shippers today that they can employ right now to save the most amount of money possible? I would actually say that money might not be the biggest opportunity. Money is definitely there, right? So you can do cost optimization, more optimization, service optimization, and an audit. But more importantly now is customer experience. Um, so I would say take your data, figure out how many exceptions you have, and then use it to tactically decrease them. So how many are controllable issues? Who can control it? Is it you or the carrier or the end customer? And then drive those inefficiencies down. I think if you do that, you'll have a better customer retention rate. And that's ultimately what everyone's trying to compete for because, I mean, yes, as a shipper, you want to reduce costs and, and you will you will be able to do that once you have a better customer experience, um, you're getting more business, um, and you have happier customers, they're going to come back to you. Well, I really love that answer, Hannah, because I don't know how this works. Or do I, am I you're editing this part out? No. Yeah, you will. Cut this part out. So, you know, I think one of the cool things I liked about your answer was customer experience. You know, the whole freight world has been so focused on process and reducing costs and, you know, last mile and all this crazy technology. But at the end of the day, customers are the most important. Shippers have nothing to ship if they don't have customers. So the fact that you said customer experience gets me really, really excited. So thanks for being here with our little interview for Parcel Form. Great to meet you in person. We'll have yes. you back on the podcast and yes. have a great show. And we will be the third then because <laughs> we will still be two and three. <laughs>